Okay guys, welcome back. It's been a long time. And since I've last uploaded, I've realized how to record in 4K. So, it's going to be our first 4K video of this story. And in case you don't remember, like I don't remember, we're going to watch the previously seen on a uh, before this happened thing. I like how he's wearing the clothes I actually put him in. That's kind of cool. Previously on Last Stop. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Uh, of course we are. I wonder if this ever happened in real life. How long could somebody else pretend to be me? Or how long I could pretend to be somebody else without everybody catching on? Hmm, interesting. So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. Oh, for heaven's sake. Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30 a.m. Run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. I should tell you, I'm not known for my timekeeping. Well, you better step up. Amy won't take any crap. Sorry, Molly. Pardon my French. Jack loves Amy. I do not. Can we get back to this, please? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. Seven fifty-five. Put head in microwave. Eight fifteen. Bye, Molly and Eve. Mobile phone. Okay, now he's messing around. Eight fifteen. Okay. I did not know it was time to start this already. You're a little bit early, dude. He said seven thirty. It's seven twenty-four. So I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Okay. So I'll just go up to her and say... Morning, sweetheart. Pardon? Dad, no. Probably into the 21st century. Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. Pick some up after work. Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She can talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. So, got any holidays planned? What was the deal with that piss at the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle aged blokes? Oh, him? Don't worry about that. But since you asked, he's actually a great guy. You know, salt of the earth type. So are we going for this run or what? He's a thinking man's man, you know. Got a lot about him. Got a lot to offer. Keep up if you can. Wow, I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. He spent enough time on the treadmill. Oh, I imagine I come across quite self-absorbed. Well, you're no know, role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit-chat. You give me a stitch. Come on. Let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me. You're a total workaholic and a massive geek. I'm a harmless dork. 
Well, that's a relief. Yeah, sure. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You all right? What do you mean? I've never felt better. I'll call you tomorrow. No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. <laughs> Shaz is great. You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean, story? Oh, well, uh, I had to make something up on the spot yesterday. From now on, we're related. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jack. <laughs> I was just talking to John about his mysterious cousin. All right, cuz. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hiya, Shaz. Uh, it is Sh Shaz, right? I think, I think John must have told me that. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like growing up with John as your cousin? I don't want to get all soppy, but John... <laughs> Where I'd be without you. It's quite all right, Jack. I'm glad you've turned into such an athletic, creative, fiercely intelligent young man. So how long's Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. Well, we can discuss it. What's there to discuss? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Now where that interesting really. It was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping, noble stuff. Okay, that's enough. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super rich. Okay, enough now. You've made your point. Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow-paced for you while you slum it with us. What's the point of it? Keep it simple. Well, head off, John. It'll be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Submarines. Too much. So what is it that you do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides mm. and make them stand up and things. It's awesome. This little girl is weird. You having me on? An artist? Doing what? So hard mm. to believe. I work in the interactive medium. You know, video games. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free-to-play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition. Cutting-edge stuff. Uh-huh. I played this game where you had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. I remember playing this one back in the day that was set on this weird island. It had puzzles and stuff. You do that one, Jack? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> Um, the summon I got a four or five? Super fab. It's not far from your office, actually. So what does a computer game person do? Play games all day? Sounds pretty easy to me. There's a little bit more to it than that. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? I struggle enough with the oven timer. I don't think this is going to work. Don't sweat it. I'll walk you through it. Think of me as a master puppeteer and you my obedient marionette. 
<laughs> Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. Well, that's a bit cruel. She sounded nice on the phone. You're mean, chap. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Good age. Why? Don't know. So I don't have to remember everything. It's gonna happen back to back. Oh, that's cool. And how am I supposed to sneak past her? In the preview, the dude got caught. I wonder if it's possible to sneak past her. Dude, what are you doing? Hello, stranger. Where are we? You look well rested. Yeah, it's like the whole weekend. Anyway, I should probably just mm. get going. Someone's in a hurry. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. Right, Derek. Yeah. The office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. Right, <laughs> yeah. I'm completely not with it this morning. I should probably get going. Hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Balmy. Great sunbathing weather. You should see my turn. In Iceland. Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good with stuff like that. Well, he's right. I don't think anyone would follow me into battle. It's simple, trust me. Joan is working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Cameron's teacher. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home for the yeah. veteran. Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through Whoa, that's the too much. You may as well be speaking German. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed <clears> death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. Make cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia's Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. Uh, hello. <clears throat> I uh, cannot remember that, so. Good weekends, everyone? Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay, um, let's see. So, I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. <clears throat> so, um, Jonah. You are modeling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. Are you rumbling? By the way, feel free to step in if I get anything wrong. No? All right, then. Okay, Tobias. <coughs> I believe you're looking at a funeral procession. Good luck with that. I'm going to assume that's correct. And finally, Maya. You're rumbling. Rumbling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. You all know what you're up to even if I don't. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. Keep your head down. 
Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Cheers. Come on, baby. Don't tell me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, oh. What in the world? Um, no. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot! Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Oh. Okay. I don't want to have a catch up. Then that's good to make you feel just as out of place as the people you're supposedly playing as. Okay. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Seriously. Yeah? It's very, um dense that the lord forgives i do not bit and then he pulled out the machine gun and was all <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was my favorite bit too jack i'll cut right to it your team is doing fantastic work really outstanding but the publishers over the next month surprise visit you know how these things go mm -hmm. Is that bad? It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean, work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Hang on. There's no way I'm working weekends for a silly computer game. Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. I'll set an example, all right! Bloody cheek! Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Yeah, well, how about I show you something else? So all of a sudden, you got big balls now. Hey, Dad. You, 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 you oh. see your boss. Hey, you want to talk bad shit to his? Okay. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. Tell me she's joking. No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well, maybe I did get a little bit fired. Told you. Between you and me, I think that Clive fella overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. This is a disaster. It's all good. We've still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I'll sort your pay slip. Okay. Here's the thing. Uh-oh. Everything okay? Something go wrong? I've got something to tell you. What, well, dear T, really? What? You got fired as well? Pretty eventful day, right? This is not happening. What a nightmare. 
Oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Exactly. Do you need some privacy? Very cute. Wow. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, it's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah, I'll have a quarter. <laughs> what a more? You'll get what's left, mate. Y'all could make it one day? I wonder, could I make it a day in somebody else's job? Huh. Oh, uh, that's the end of that one. I will see you guys on the next one when I play as, um, I don't remember her name. Minahues. Yes, that's right. Minahues will be the next one.